everybody, this is me and today I'm here at the Al Shira Hickster Derby. I'm so excited, so let's go for a look around. Okay, time for the rose gold. I actually love the colour of this one. It looks so cute. <laughs> it's not a show without trying on some funky hats. What do you think? Oh my goodness, guys. Look how cute this is. <laughs> I'm at the Oakley stand, let's have a look around when there are amazing lorries. Wow. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Something you don't really realise about these lorries is that the jumping athletes, they will spend thousands of miles travelling across the world for their show season. So they're going to be spending a lot of time away from home. So you want it to be nice when you're away. <laughs> And of course you want the horses to be as comfortable as possible as well and this model can actually fit up to six horses. And there's got to be a bathroom as well and I think this one is actually nicer than my one at home. Okay guys I hope you enjoyed the little lorry tour now I'm gonna drive it home. Maybe not. <laughs> so we're now going up to the stables and we get to ride in the buggy. <laughs> so I am here with Billy Buckingham and he is William Funnel's horse and he has actually won four derbies now and if he wins the fifth then he'll set a new record. So wow, hello, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> So I'm here with Bubbles, William Funnel's groom. So what is it like to be a groom for one of the world's top riders? Uh, it's great. <laughs> to get to travel the world. And earlier in the year we went to Abu Dhabi with four of them and then we'll just come back and hopefully tomorrow we can make history. So <laughs> fingers crossed, but like he said earlier, maybe this year he might knock one down. And but a treat? Anything can happen, so, and then horses at the end of the day, so, hopefully, if he gets a good night's sleep tonight, he comes out in a good mood. Sometimes he could be quite grumpy, but, oh. <laughs> but he's happy, he's quite happy today, so, a little less for you. <laughs> So I'm here with Billy Angelette and she's actually jumping her first derby tomorrow which is very exciting. I think she's having a little snooze, a little rest up ready for tomorrow and as you can see all of the horses here are looked after so well. Something I absolutely love about Higgs is how just over there we have the Longines International Arena and then behind me here we have the NSEA ring where we have children from schools all over the country here competing today at Hickstead. The jumps may only be small, only cross poles, but these are the riders of the future that are competing here today. So I'm here with Isabella and we've just found her pony and he thought that he looked a little bit like Mickey, he reminds me of Mickey. Oh, you're so cute! <laughs>
Hello everybody, I'm here with one of the world's top jumping athletes, Holly Smith. We're here today at Hickstead. So I've actually been to Hickstead so many times since I was really, really small. I was actually lucky enough to compete here a few years ago at a very low level. But there's something about Hickstead and the atmosphere which is just incredible. What does Hickstead mean to you? Um, I think you've hit the nail on the head really, the atmosphere. Um, I don't think there's a showground in the world quite like it. Um, the tradition is just unbelievable. Um, everywhere you go there's you know pictures of... it's just so iconic <laughs> yeah i know exactly it's a privilege to be a part of that um, and the obstacles that we get to jump that is so exciting you've got the derby bank the devil was dyke the water jump here is just absolutely massive it's a real great thrill to jump it so I was lucky enough a few weeks ago to actually ride in the international arena and go up the bank on my little Connemara pony <laughs> and it was so high up there and especially when you're on a horse as well. So how do you prepare for going down the bank because obviously we just went up it. So. How did you get down? Uh, we went down the back so yeah we didn't go down the other way. That probably wouldn't have ended up well. I think first things first you need a very very brave horse yes. and I do know from when they're a very young horse whether I think that's the type of thing that they'll be game for. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and just like my young horses, I try and do a lot with them when they're younger, just a bit of anything really, a bit of cross-country schooling, hunting, a bit of eventing, all that type of thing. So they're horses that hopefully really trust me. And if I ask them to do something, they accept it and just, you know, go along with it because they trust me. Yeah. Um, and I do have some small banks at home. And I start them off literally just going down once, say, this high. Yeah. Get the confidence we're getting the footing and then we build it up to a taller bit. And then it's all about trying to get them to jump off it at the right point and get them to stay straight. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's how I do it, really. But they've got to be the right horse. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. So I was actually here last year and watched you in the derby and you rode absolutely incredibly. You were so close to winning. So obviously you've had a lot of successes this year as well. What have you been up to this season? Um, so I started my year off as I normally do at the Sunshine Tour in the Here de la Frontera, which is sort of just up from Malaga in Spain. So the weather's really good out there. And it must it, be really it, sunny. Yeah, well, <laughs> last year it rained for the whole thing. It was oh, horrific. No. But this year we had a really good year. Um, it just enables us to get the horses out on the grass surfaces nice and early. It brings their coats through nice and early and it's just good for their well-being really. So I had a really good show there and won one of the four star Grand Prix on Hearts Destiny. Um, then the horses had probably about six weeks, just quiet time really. There's nothing up with any of them as such and we were still working them. But it just enables them just to freshen up and get, because I have to do a hell of a lot of travelling for the shows that I do. Um, so it just, you know, make sure they're really well and fresh. And then I have been on Nations Cup duty, um, did Le Ball and St. Gallen Nations Cups with Hearts Destiny. Um, we did OK, but I just wish we could have done that bit better, um, but we'll keep working towards that. And then I competed at Royal Windsor Horse Show and I had a win in the Kingdom of Bahrain Stakes on Hearts Destiny and I got to meet the Queen, which was very oh, wow. exciting. Yep. <laughs> And then I've been at Bowlesworth International Horse Show, which again was struck by some really bad weather, but I had a really good show. Quality old joker, my derby horse were here, he won the puissance, um, and Hearts Destiny won the big class on the Friday, 150 class. And I had some bad luck in the Grand Prix. I had one fence down in the jump off in the fastest time, so I was very close to winning. Aww. So thank you so much, Holly, for your time. Best of luck later. I might also see you later to do the derby course walk. Thank you so much. <laughs> Not a problem. Can't wait to show you the obstacles. They're even scarier when you manage to get yes. up to them. <laughs> oh, she is absolutely massive. Wow. Hello. <laughs> He's huge. So George is absolutely huge. I can barely touch his withers. Do you know how big he is? I think I try not to put a stick on him because I just assume he is as big as he is and I ride him and that's it. But I think he's about 17.3, but there's just oh, wow. something about how he's put together that just makes him feel even bigger and his movement that makes him feel absolutely massive. Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> he says, I know. <laughs> oh. Now it's time to go to my meetup. Who wants to see this head, mate? <laughs> Hi everybody, I'd just like to say thank you so much for coming, thank you so much for watching my videos, so let's start the meetup! <laughs> So this is Anna 
Anna May and she's come all the way from South Africa so thank you so much for coming. It's really nice to meet you. <laughs> Okay guys, so today is Sunday and Derby day. I'm back here with Holly and we're going to be doing a little bit of a course walk. So first we're here at the bank. How do you tackle this? Um, first of all, it's very, very steep. So yes. you have to make sure that the horse is slowed down enough and taking its time because over the years we've seen some horses try and leap off the top and some of them stop dead at the top. So it's very important to get them slowed down looking what they're doing. And then we can see straight afterwards we've got some white rails um the big rails the i think they're full at 160. wow um, so it's important that they come off straight and because that affects the distance and that the it's ideally they have to jump off sort of a third of the way down to make yep. sure that they land in the right place so it doesn't affect the striding to that fence um, and there is also a 1 meter 15 set of rails on the top of the bank and it is important to get that jumped as yes. well because if you knock that down that also counts yep so we can see actually this is a quite a massive set of rails yes. with the added ditch aspect that we're standing in. of a really big ditch. So when you're watching it on TV, it actually looks like just a simple set of rails. But yeah. this is a big ditch. Um, it's got to be a brave horse to, I mean, your takeoff point's probably... Way back there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the horse has got to jump a long way out. And we can see afterwards, there's also another set of massive cream rails afterwards that you've got to get the horses back for. So you can't attack this with too much force. Um, but when you take off, it's a great feeling. Yes. <laughs> so this fence here is almost as big as me, as you can see. Yeah, it's a really, really big set of substantial rails. And to make things worse, we've got the water jump just before it, which is a oh, great brilliant. big long flat <laughs> jump, which encourages the horse to jump flat and long. And, then, and it's at the end of the course, so we've then got to gather them back and try and get them to respect these set of rails. It's a massive fence, it's an iconic derby fence and I'm sure we'll see them fall a lot today. Okay, so here we are at the Devil's Dyke. This fence comes really late on in the course, um, after the bank. It's a bit of a heartbreaker really, because you can think that you're going really well and then you can get to here and horses sometimes take a dislike to it. But most often there's the first element, it's really tall. There's a slope afterwards and the horses just look straight into this massive blue ditch and it's on a decline here, incline there, really, really hard fence to jump. One that we try and practice a lot, but practice doesn't always make perfect with this fence. So Holly, tell me about this amazingly wide oxa. So this privet hedge fence, it comes on really early in the course, um, massive set of white rails, they're tall and there's width to them. And a lot of these horses aren't actually used to jumping hedges all the time, so it comes as a bit of a shock to them early on in the course. Thank you so much for your time today, Holly. Obviously, that is coming up to the 60th anniversary of the Derby, and only 61 people have gone clear, and you're one of them. How does that feel to be not just competing against the people today, but the other people over the years that have competed the same course? It's an absolutely massive privilege to be part of that elite club, I suppose. <laughs> um, it's just unfortunate that when I did jump clear that I didn't win, but Hopefully I've got plenty more years ahead of me. I'll find plenty more Derby horses after this one and maybe today's my day. Who knows? Well, best of luck for today. Thank you.
Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm also going to be back here at Higsid for the FEI Nations Cup. So that's going to be the 26th and the 28th of July that I'm going to be here for a Mickey meetup. Also, I'd like to say a huge thank you to the Bun family and to Higsid for very kindly inviting me. I've had such an incredible time here. Also, if you're new or have not done so already, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.